Farmers in the Shigesam region have received vital training on the standards of fresh foods and vegetables aimed at enhancing the quality and maintainability of their produce. This initiative seeks to improve food safety, nutrition vary, and compliance with the local and international market standards. The training, organized under the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands, Horticulture Market Acceleration Project Hotmap, by Kemif and Tekinosav, addressed key areas such as food safety, handling, storage, and compliance within market regulations. Held yesterday at Elijah Hotel in Kabali Municipality, it drew lead farmers from various parts of western Uganda eager to learn and implement best practices in cultivation and sale of their produce. Topics covered included post-harvest handling, organic farming methods, pest control, and the importance of adhering to established standards for fresh produce. Nicholas Rappa, the head of inspections and seed testing at Kemifa, emphasized the necessity for the farmers to produce not only in quantity, but also in quality that meets the expectations of both local and international markets. He says that this training is a step towards empowering the farmers with the knowledge they need to succeed. I mean, there have been many studies, and uh, not only studies, but also had consumer concern. And also on the other side is on the side of export. We have had uh, some rejections on the international market, especially on chilies and peppers, uh, when they say they are not meeting the standards of the market. And uh, what we found out is the farmers themselves that are supposed to be involved in producing these products are also not aware of what standards that are supposed to be followed. So our purpose here is to make sure we uh, close the gap between the farmer and the markets so that they understand what they are supposed to be producing, how the market needs it to be uh, packaged, and also this is going to be very important for the local market. So that the products that we own, we eat here are not only the bad ones that, that we produce, what you can eat and also export and we are of the same quality. Furthermore, he says that training introduces farmers to the latest agricultural technologies and innovations to aid in the production of high quality fruits and vegetables. Today, our target was about 35 farmers, but remember these are lead farmers. So every lead farmer comes from a farmer group. The smallest a farmer group can have is maybe 30 or 15 people. So in this case, when we target like 30, today we've got more than 50 actually. So those 50 are going to disseminate this information to their different farmer groups. Just as in City Year 2, Anjan Baptist and Pile, farmers who participated in the workshop, expressed their gratitude and insights gained through the training. They say that they learned about improving the quality of their vegetables and properly storing them to extend their share of life. <laughs> Yo tinka inga butunda kusha nyipinga ne nyanya na cabbage. Echi na ikaye mononge cha singa ku shemeza ne ebingwa bwo mutindo. Hati nke nyanya tubivuza kutwara mu katari ushango ine classes nkisha. Zona zigitirana ko murutekero. Hati na ikaye musorting kumanya pe mu first class, second class, then na third class. Apa wa ikomu katari first class. Na no way and you won't cook shake shako. Nasanga in a much more shumonga more organic money. The initiative is expected to significantly impact the agriculture sector in Chigezi, enhancing the competitiveness of the local produce in the national and international markets. By adhering to fresh foods and vegetable standards, Chigezi region farmers are eager to contribute more significantly to the region's economy and enhance the well being of the community through the provision of nutritious and safe foods. <laughs> Standard, 
The training provided represents a crucial step towards modernizing agriculture in the region and aligning it with global standards. Through continuous education and adherence to best practices, the future of farming in the Chigin sub-region looks promising, with potential for increased farmer income and improved health outcomes for the customers. Nobody Yamachi for Chigin Television.